in response to the arrest of a Lagos-based printer who reportedly printed ballot papers ahead of the Ikiti governorship polls. Governor Adelfeos has said that the printer was only given the contract to print specimen materials by the state government for the purpose of sensitizing voters. Governor Adelfeos has responded to the arrest of a Lagos-based printer accused by the Lagos State Police of printing ballot papers for Ikiti People's Democratic Party PDP, ahead of the governorship polls. The incident which took place on Monday, July 8, was reported by the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Imhimi Edgal, Premium Times reports. In his report, Edgul had said, on July 8, an intelligence report from a credible source was received by the command, that ballot papers meant for the forthcoming gubernatorial election in Ikiti were being printed in a company on Aftly Limited located at 13 B.O. Guntona Crescent, Gbegada, Lagos. The company is owned by one in Eolafeos. The report further revealed that some of the printed ballot papers were moved to Ikiti in three Hillux vans, on Friday July 6, while the artworks are still in their graphic computers. However, Faos, gave an explanation in reaction to the allegation and arrest. He said the printer, who bears the same surname with him and is also a native of Ikren Ikiti, is not related to him. The governor said that Iniola was given the contract by the Ikiti state government to print specimen ballot papers which would be used for the sensitization of voters. He also challenged the security personnel who stormed the printing press to publish the materials they claimed they had recovered from Iniola's office in Lagos. Faos said. Iniola printed specimen of election materials for voter education for our people who are illiterates. The specimen has nothing to show it is authentic Anek material. APC and Anek printed specimens and distributed them publicly. We challenge them to show the so-called election materials that they are talking about. They should publish what they have. Inek printed their own specimen and we also printed our own specimen for voter education for our people. The specimen is not usable anywhere and not showing anything that appears to be authentic materials. APC did their own specimen for their people and we did that too. This is an attempt to intimidate us. The mere fact that he is Faos does not mean that Aniola is my relation. Corroborating Faos's explanation, Aniola, who spoke in a do Ikiti on Tuesday, July 9, said what he printed was specimen to educate voters. Displaying samples of the specimen he printed for the PDP, Aniola said, I am a registered printer with over 20 years experience. These are the samples of specimen I was asked to print for voter education. It has no logo or security features on them as they are for mere education of the voters. They are just specimen to let the people know how the ballot paper looks like and how to thumbprint and how to fold the papers. Everything the police claimed to have seen in my workshop when they searched the place are valid documents. Every political party has such specimen to educate their people. When copies given by the INEC are not sufficient, parties can print the specimen. The specimen I printed is in a paper of 60 grand bond which is incapable of registering the needed security point for a genuine ballot paper. It has no logo. No number, no security feature. Specimen is clearly written on it. At the initial stage, I found the allegation comical and hilarious but I just noticed that it is a mischief executed by certain people trying to take undue advantage. The Lagos police commissioner in his statement never said he saw ballot papers in my workshop and did not say I was arrested. 
he did not see anything incriminating, he is quite a gentleman and professional in doing his job. The CP said that everything he saw were documents. I build my businesses on hard work and integrity with enviable track record with local and international awards. I am working for seven countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. For our detractors, thanks for the free advertisement.